We take this? No, no, no. I no, it's okay. 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 Um, Donato Greco is a medical expert coming from Italy, yes. I, and he is Rotarian. Yes. So as a Rotarian, I ask Donato, please, could you tell a bit more about your role in polio eradication and uh, your mission here in Ukraine now? Well, uh, when I started to work with polio eradication some 30 years ago, I learned that most of the action was supported by Rotarians. And I had a cousin of mine, a lawyer in Rome, that was one of the president at the time of the Rotarians. And, uh, and then I decided to join Rotary. Thank you. Because in fact, uh, that was my motivation was to join uh, the Polio Plus program. And that is still one of the major pillar of the polio eradication program and has been for 30 years Correct. with many billion dollars every year donated for, for, for this reason. So um, this is why I got the Paul Harris medal and uh, I'm uh, still following this issue. Uh, my role has been uh, officially uh, to become uh, 28 years ago a member of the regional polio certification commission that covers 53 WHO European countries from Vladivostok oh. to Coimbra. The whole big from, region. Yeah, the continent. Yeah, from Portugal to uh, Kamchatka. Oh, oh. <laughs> quite a territory. Yes, quite a territory. And believe it or not, we, we, you remember also that Europe once was two parts, west and east. And now we became one single region and also Ukraine is likely to become part of the European Union soon. Um, I have a question. I have just uh, uh, listened and was uh, very emotional about your very emotional speech here. Uh, and uh, from meetings which we had with parents, uh, we organized meetings to convince parents that it is important to vaccinate their children because so far there are uh, not all not all parents in ukraine are convinced in the safety of vaccine because of some rumors or some uh, manipulated information and so on and in in general about vaccination they are not very convinced and you told about us about the, the tragedy i would say in tajikistan and uh, the the learnings out of there that what is good so far because so far two cases in ukraine and the uh, child uh, these children are uh, safe now let's say uh, but example of tajikistan shows it could be completely different story if we do nothing so what would you say to parents uh, what should be their actions to really protect their children yeah well i will say two things the first thing is that parents do not invent their own opinion. They built opinion after medical people consultation. So Correct. Both parents ask the pediatrician or ask, uh, or even there are some many professional, medical professional that create this ignorant attitude to, against vaccines because they are not enough scientifically educated. Uh, they do not read the evidence published in the literature and they trust their own, say, uh, opinions mm -hmm. very often against what is the scientific evidence. But to parents I want to say one thing, as is the right of a mother, it's, a, it's the duty of a father to procure milk, bread, meat, food every day, education, mm -hmm. safe water, say the house, a toy, whatever you want to give your beautiful child, so you have to guarantee your child the right not to get affected by what is today a preventable disease. So if your child get measles, if your child get diphtheria, if your child get polio, this is a criminal action and you are not the right parent because you do not guarantee your child what is available to all the other child in the globe. So what is the difference between a French child and a Ukrainian child? What is the difference between a French family or a German family and a Ukrainian family? We have to guarantee our children safety as science offers. If science offers not to have a risk to run polio, you have to guarantee your children not to get polio. And unfortunately this was not the case 
when you were not complying with vaccination for many years, not providing your vaccination center with available vaccine. I told you the story that I heard from uh, Ukrainian friends. Mm -hmm. You go to the vaccination center, no vaccine. You go to private, you pay, and you get it. This is not right. This is not getting a right. This is an absurd speculation on the skin of your child. Thank you, Donato. And uh, maybe the last question. Uh, we know that uh, it is now a campaign of this close to eradicate polio. Could you, as an expert, confirm that the globe is really this close to this uh, day when we will celebrate the You know, my Rotary, my, my Rotary brother, I have to tell you that we postponed the final eradication date three times. We ah. said 2000, close. Then we said 2010, close. Now, now I can confidently say that I believe that by the end of this year, we will see the last case of polio. Ah. Because we only have two small niche, one in Pakistan North, and one in Afghanistan. And two viruses have been already eradicated, type two and type three, we don't see anymore. So we only have this very small niche. So it could be, and of course there are political and you know, war problems in Pakistan, the bombing vaccination center, so it's not easy. But we have been doing this in the past. In Latin America, they invented cheese, uh, say peace uh, chasing days, which they stopped weapons for one day to allow vaccination. So we could do the same thing. Absolutely. And again, by the end of this year, I believe we will see no. That's not the end of the problem. Because we have to cope with poly vaccination for the next 10 years. So we'll have to be sure for sure. 10 years more. Also, we have to do the containment of the, of the virus with the switch to, to uh, saving then the switch to IPV only. Mm -hmm. And Ukraine is going to get only IPV yeah. combined with vaccination. So it will be a route for the next 10 years. But the first point this year. Okay. Thank you very much for your service and for coming to, to support us here. You're my friend. Thank you. yeah. Thank and you. don't forget that if you come to Rome, you get invited to our club. Thank you very much, Donato. <laughs> Thank you.